More than 5,500 applications were received for this year's intake from all 121 constituencies. This is the first time that the NYS Hentis Base Centre is open for activities since its closure in 2017 when the National Service Training moved to Redfontein. Addressing the 310 new recruits, Sean Guerrero reminded them of opportunities government is presenting to the youth. Dear recruits, as you embark on this transformative journey, remember that it is you, the young minds and vibrant spirits of Namibia that can make our nation flourish. You are the leaders of I was telling the governor, some of you, yourself, you don't know when you are the leader. Some will say you are a leader of tomorrow. Others will tell us they are the leader of today. No, I don't know which one. Maybe we'll have a, a middle, middle thing. Yeah? We, okay, we will say you are the leaders of today, tomorrow. Also speaking at the event was Irongo Governor Neville Andre and Jacob Hamtenya, Deputy Chairperson of the National Youth Service Board. As policy makers and stakeholders in youth development, we need to focus on how well we can coordinate our efforts to create and connect services, opportunities, and support the youth to reach their full potential and contribute towards the nation building. NYS was established through the Act of Parliament, which is Act Number 6 of 2005, under the auspices of the Ministry of Sports. And amongst others, is to, serve, is to serve as a meeting point for the youth from various social and cultural backgrounds, as we have seen earlier this morning, to, and also to provide the youth with opportunities to further their studies and training needs. And also to provide um, opportunities for these youth to take part in national development on a voluntary basis.